Hello teachers, I'm going to show you now how to create a quick and easy answer document uh, so you can go ahead and start scanning the assessments or assignments that you create. First thing you need to do is go to allinlearning.com and log in using the email and password you created when you first set up your account. Once you're logged in, uh, since the beginning of the year you're going to see this important notice thing again which will probably go away later on. Uh, you can click continue or you can just go ahead and click on lesson assessments at the top. Once you click on lesson slash assessments you'll see that I can create the class Mr. Salos class. Uh, I'm going to go ahead over here and click create new. Once I create new a little window will pop up on the left on the right hand side it says import. We're going to ignore that right now. We're going to click build right over here and we're going to do assessment key. Whether it's an assessment or an assignment doesn't really matter. Uh, let's say that I'm going to create a, an assignment on the water cycle. Let's say it's a test. All right, I'm going to choose my grade level. The reason why you're choosing these things and putting in tags and everything is because you can share these assignments and assessments uh, with your team members. Uh, to do that, uh, I'll show you in a second how to share your assignments. Uh, but as for the water cycle test, third grade, choose my subject, it's under science, and I'm going to put water cycle test. Okay, unit whatever, however you want to describe it, that's fine. The tags are important because, let's say you uh, created a whole bunch of assignments or assessments, and you want to be able to find them later on without sorting through all the assignments and assessments that you've created so far, you're going to add tags, just like when you search on Google, you'll be able to search to find all the different assignments and assessments you've created. So I'm going to put in water cycle. Okay. Or you can even just put the word water separate or cycle separate. Science. Just words that would remind you of what this is. Okay. Uh, you have two choices under the type. It's assessment or general instruction. Since this is a test, I'm going to choose assessment. If it's a regular assignment, choose general instruction. Uh, doesn't matter which one you choose because the directions on how to do this is the same, it's just a category. So categorize what you're doing. If it's a test, keep it assessment. If it's general instruction or an assignment, create general instruction. Okay, so I'm going to click assessment and I'm going to click next. All right, this is next window has a bunch of information on it. Let me explain to you quickly what it is. Uh, here's the first question. I would pick whatever answer my first question is. I have multiple choice chosen right now. If it's a multiple choice question, you're going to choose multiple choice. If it's true or false, you change it to true or false. As you see, it's T or F. If you want it yes, no, yes, no. Short answer. Uh, we'll get to this in a little bit. Uh, we're going to skip that. I'll come back to it. It takes a little bit more lo longer to explain. Same with placeholder and rubric. We're going to stick with these three since this is a quick and easy way how to do it. All right, so if I'm doing multiple choice, let's say my whole test is multiple choice. That's a quick and easy way how to do it. I'm going to create an answer key. Number of answers. This matters right here. Uh, when you get into advanced ways of creating these tests and actually creating the whole test, putting in the questions and everything on here, uh, this is going to matter. Uh, if I choose five, that means the number of questions they would see on here would be five. But if you actually have a, a, another worksheet or a test that you're working from, uh, this really doesn't matter right now. Um, however, when you do create tests, actual tests, by putting inputting questions onto here and doing your test that way, this is will matter. So if I only want three answers for everyone, I would pick three. If I wanted four answers to be, or four possible answer choices, I'd pick four. All right, so I'm going to leave it at four because, I don't know, it doesn't really matter for this. All right, so I... Uh, since I, my assessment or, or assignment is on a different sheet of paper, I'm going to go ahead and make a little answer key off to the side uh, so I can look at it and do this quickly. Uh, let's just go ahead and quickly make my answer key. If you see right here, this is question number one. Uh, so I'm going to make it just a quick and easy one. Question two, question three, and I'm just going to go A, B, C, A, B, C, C until I get ten questions on here. Just make a generic one to show you for example. All right, so we have our 10 question answer key right over here. As you can see, I made my quick answer key, and we're all done. Uh, you don't have to worry about the standards later on. I'll show you what that is later. Same with the show advanced options. 
But that's how you make a quick and easy answer key. So if you wanted to go ahead and quickly start creating something, you can. You click save and close. And at this process right here, it's sending your answer key to all in learning. And you can see here's my water cycle test and you're set to go. My next section is gonna show you how to scan these items. Hope you learned a lot. If you have any questions, just please let me know.